Hi everyone, welcome to my image processing tutorial. Now I've been talking about the three uh, Java files. So we have examined how that image filter works, uh, how that image panel works, and how that uh, uh, load file works of the image viewer. Now the only thing that is uh, left out left that is uh, the main method of the image viewer class. Uh, so let's uh, see how it works. Simply, it takes an uh, argument in the command line, and uh, if no argument is passed, so it will take a default.jpg file. And if you pass one uh, in the AIGS zero, it will be stored, and we have passed that value to our constructor. Uh, so using the file name variable, so the constructor do all the things. So let's see what it does actually. So it calls the super uh, to set the title uh, as image viewer than the file name that we are having inside this procedure. Then we have uh, made a default close operation that to exit on close. And we have uh, made a location that is 2010. And we have loaded the file that is this method we have used that is this one which loads the file as an image inside our program and works until the loading of the image gets completed uh, now this part of the program actually processes the image so I will talk about it just a little bit later but remember finally we are having the e processed image inside the image object and we have uh, passed that image uh, to our image panel class which is a canvas and things are done there so there we have passed that processed image and we have added that uh, canvas to our frame we have set the size of the frame to a certain amount 1700 and then we have made it visible so we can see the window so so I guess the operation is clear now all the these lines which actually producing or implementing that filter and which causing the effect or to our image so we need to understand this part now in Java Java image processing is done through architecture that architecture is known as the producer and consumer co concept so some object that is uh, used as a source that means which is capable of producing pixels and some object are there which will process them will consume those pixel so uh, let's get back to our filter now let me tell you this is a consumer so it consumes pixel from a source and then uh, produce uh, some pixels again uh, which is the pr uh, processed pixels we have so we need to get the producer from image dot get source we can get the image producer for the image object the loaded image from the hard disk and then we have uh, called our or we have instantiated our image filter object using the blur image filter class inside the filter object then I have used uh, the image producer that is uh, taking a filtered image source now filtered image source what we have done the producer and then the consumer so from the producer to the consumer the pixel passes and it returns image the produced image as a image producer and from there we have uh, created the image and assigned that image reference inside the image object so now you have an idea that how our filter works so what you have to do you have to take the producer and then you have to create your own consumer which processes them then make another producer that uh, that is a filtered image source uh, and first put the image producer and then the image consumer and from there you create the image now there are some other filters are available inside Java and one of them is very useful is that the scale filter so we have to scale the image according to our window size 
so we are done using that scale filter and using the replicate scale filter object and we have given some information that how it will work and finally I uh, we have uh, made the image producer using filtered image source and then we have created our image from that producer and finally that image is passed to the image panel so finally let's take a look how our program works this is the original image file and to run we will type java image viewer and then the file so we pass the file to the program and we hit enter and this is our processed image so if you want to save this file obviously you can snip it using the snipping tool of Microsoft and you will get others from other OS's too so this is it the, the whole process works and thanks for watching this video uh, I might be trying for uh, uh, you know recording some other tutorials on image processing and some more interesting steps um, so keep watching this channel and thanks for watching this video again